All right, so it's already 3.36 p.m. So uh, before we continue our discussion on module four, do you guys have a question so far or clarification from our discussion yesterday? Anyone? None? Or regarding with your laboratories, any question? Okay, uh, what is your question, Miss Kyla? Regarding with lab number five? What do you mean, anong ilalagay sa scholar type? Alright, so maybe... Lab number five. You mean the title of the... Uh, database that you will be able to create just by following this one so uh, actually you will uh, be able to create two files from num uh, lab number five one is the database or uh, the scholar list that DB okay that is actually the name or the file name of that one and then the other file is the MS word file which is this one okay so uh, there are lots of uh, things uh, mentioned in here wherein it says here that you should not type those texts. Okay, just insert that uh, day-to-day that is uh, right justified and then press several tab keys here, etc, etc. So all you need to do is just follow those steps that uh, is being mentioned in here. Okay, so how will, how will you check if those, uh, let's say close and open parenthesis, title, first name, and last name is working? So all you need to do is do I have a sample? Okay. Mm. okay wait. Maybe I can still find some. Old, old. Number that I cannot find. Okay, so wait a second. Let me just get an old uh, lab number five from previous term. Number All right, so from here, okay, so upon creating the lab number five, okay, so upon following those steps, you'll be able to come up, uh, you know, to have another file, which is a scholar, uh, a scholar list, okay, so you don't need to open this one, so all you need to do is uh, open your lab number five itself, and then, So uh, upon opening the file, actually it will ask you to um, merge 
or find the data source wherein you wanted to merge a certain database. So just uh, click that one, find data source. So in my case, it was saved on downloads. And the name is scholar list. Okay, just open that one. And then from here, so for you to be able to check if it's working or no, just click this uh, preview results. So it's under mailing tab. Mailing tab and then preview results. So there you go. As you can see, uh, the Mr. and Miss uh, is now changed or the title was changed into Mr. and Miss. Okay, Mariano Awai. And then his name. And uh, his name again and then his course. So yeah, as you guys can see, uh, those uh, close enough and parentheses are uh, being changed okay, from the letter that you have created. All right, so that's how you create uh, lab number five. And then uh, the main goal of this one is to teach you, you know, to create a standard format. And then all you need to do is uh, create a database wherein you can uh, import that one and then uh, preview results. And then that is not the one that you can print. Okay, so you don't need to type uh, all of their names. You don't need to type uh, all of their uh, informations, especially if you have the same uh, information uh, being uh, mentioned in here. Okay. So uh, as you guys can see right here, you will uh, you can also change the recipient. Okay, so before it is that, and then the next one is another uh, name of that person, which is, let's say, uh, Charmy Villeneuve. Okay, so before is uh, Justin Leo, uh, Leonard Awai, and then the second one is Charmy Villeneuve, okay, which is, again, another uh, course and then another student name. So... Was I able to answer your question, Miss Kaila? Uh, sir, yung yung isa ko pang tanong is yung anong ilalagay po dun sa scholar type po. Eh, pag wala pong any, ano, kahit gagawa na po kami ng student assistant, yung sister, parang ganun po. Mm, I see. Because the one that you're going to put here is your father's name your last name, and then your address, and then, so I guess scholar type is NA since it is your father. Okay, and then this one is just a sample. Well, actually, you can change this one into another uh, person. So let's say it is now uh, your mother, maybe, or your, let's say your uh, aunt. Okay, so and then what is the... Uh, student type, okay, or your re uh, relationship uh, to that person. And for this color type, again, NA. Okay. Well, you can also put here your name if you want. However, the one that I will check is the first uh, reference, okay, or the first uh, table. Okay. So as long as, long as uh, that I saw that this one is working, then that is very good to me, okay? Okay, sir, thank you. Okay, okay. So, ulitin ko lang, ha? It's NA. Okay. If the scholar type is not available. All right. So, any other question? So I guess none anymore. Anyway, so uh, since we are already talking about your lab number five, so again, you will be able to create two files. Okay, so I would like you guys to compress this as one file so that I will only receive one file. Okay, so how do you compress this one? So just highlight those two files and then right click and then add to archive. And then you can choose uh, either RAR or ZIP, so either of those two, so it's okay. 
So in here, I'll, I'll just choose RAR and then I'll click. Okay, or uh, before you do that, so we have to change the name first. Okay, so from downloads to, let's see, lab number five. And then just click, okay. And then there you go. You now have a compressed uh, file of those two files. Okay, so this is now the one that you can submit to uh, our lab number five. Okay, so are we clear so far on how you're going to submit your work in lab number five? So if it's clear, uh, how about giving me a thumbs up so that I know that some of you were able to uh, get it. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight. All right, so at least half of you were able to get it. Okay then, so if you guys don't have a question anymore, then I guess uh, we can now continue our discussion on module four. So, ready? Hello, nantok ba kayo? Ready, sir. So, si Miss Kayla lang yata yung uh, okay na. Yes, Miss Kayla, do you have a question? Sir, what time po tayo matatapos dito? Uh, yun na nga. So, kaya binibilisan ko. Kasi baka... Ay, okay, sir. Kasi may quit ako kami hour. mamaya. Yeah. So, it might took us one hour and 30 okay, minutes. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right. So, that you can have your uh, quiz already after the uh, discussion. All right. Anyway... So let's now start with binary addition. So it's actually super simple. You know, 1 plus 1 is 10. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 100. Now, how did we get those 10, 11, and then 100? So going back to our, you know, normal way of solving things. So when we were young, we were taught that, you know, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. There is no other answer than, you know, 1 plus 1 is always equal to 2. However, in binary, 1 plus 1, okay, 1 plus 1 is 10. So take note, the one that we're talking is, you know, uh, in here, this one is decimal, but in here, uh, it's binary, okay? So uh, let's go back with a binary. So let's uh, maybe discuss the 4-bit binary. So take note that in binary, we have 4 bits. That's the minimum uh formation or the minimum uh, numbers that we can have when it comes to binary. So again, the first number is 1. I mean, the uh, rightmost side number is 1. And then the next one is 2. The next one right there is 4. And then the last one is 8. So if you guys are going to take a look at this one, so 1 plus 1 is 2 in decimal. However, in binary, if you want to convert this decimal into binary, it or you will be able to form 0, 0, one zero okay which is now this one wherein you can remove those two zeros okay wherein it will only give us the value of one zero so yeah you can remove those two zeros since it will not affect the uh, final value of your uh, result in binary here okay so that's the reason why in binary one plus one is equal to ten so clear so far so just give me a thumbs up if you guys were able to get it. And then let's just raise your hand if you wasn't able to get it. Okay. The faster that you guys will respond, uh, the faster that we'll be able to finish this one. Okay, good. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So it seems that most of you were able to get it. Now, in 1 plus 1 plus 1, okay. This one is 3 in decimal. However, in binary, this one is zero zero one one okay wherein again you can remove those two zeros that is uh, why you can only have 11 okay so this is in decimal this is now in a form of binary okay so that's the reason why one plus one plus one is 11 okay so the same with one plus one plus one plus one oops miss joshua question
Wala po, sir. Uh, Alright. So, in 1 plus 1 plus 1, so we have 4 ones. So, this one is equal to 4. But then again, this one is in a form of decimal. The one that we need to have is the one that is in binary. So, in binary, uh, 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. Where in, again, you can remove this 0 right here. So, that's how we've got uh, 100 right here. Okay. All right. So, just remember, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. However, you have to convert that 1 into binary. So, that's how we've got 10. The same with uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 0, 0, 1, 1. And uh, for the uh, four ones, so we have 0, 1, 0, 0. All right. So are we clear so far regarding with the concept of binary addition? Okay, great. Good, good. Okay, so you can also uh, base your, uh, you know, your... Uh, concept regarding with binary addition uh, with this table. So 1 plus 1 is 10, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's have an example. Let us have this one. Okay, so from here, uh, 1 plus 1 is 10. Okay, just carry 1, bring down 0. 1 plus 1 is 10, carry 1, bring down 0. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. So carry 1, bring down 1, and then 1 plus 1 is 10, carry 1, bring down 0. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11, carry 1, bring down 1. And 1 plus 1 is 10, carry 1, bring down 0. And then bring down that 1 right here. Okay, so were you guys able to follow so far? And how did we get the result? Okay, let's compare. Okay, very good. So as you guys can see, we have the same answer. 1010100 or 100. Okay. All right, so good. So let's now proceed to the uh, next example. So I will not answer number one anymore since they are quite the same in this example. So the one that we're going to answer is number three. So let me just copy this one. All right. So from here. Okay. So zero plus one plus zero is one. One plus one plus one is 11. Okay. Bring down one. One plus one plus one is 11 again. Carry one, bring down one. One plus one plus one plus one is 100. Now. How do we put the carry in here? Is it single 10? Or should we separate the 1 and 0? Like 1 and then 0. Is it as 1? Or should we separate it? Separate, sir. Okay. How about the others? Okay. So miss, uh, the answer of Mr. Jomasalen is also separate. Okay, so you, uh, maybe uh, most of you will answer separate. So that is actually the correct answer. Okay, so we have to separate uh, the 1 and 0, okay, not as 1 only. All right, so from here, you have to put the 1 in here and then 0 right here. And then just bring down the 0 right here. Okay, so 1 plus 1 is 10. Carry 1, bring down 0. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. So carry 1, bring down 1. And then we have four again. We have four. We have, yeah, we have four one rather. So in here, uh, it's 100 again. So carry one, carry zero, bring down zero. Okay. One plus one is 10. Carry one, bring down zero. And then one plus one plus one is 11. Carry one, bring down one. So we have uh, one, two, three. Wait, wait a minute. Is this uh, our second carry? So one, two, three, four, five. Ah, no. Okay, so this is uh, just as one. So one plus one plus one is 11. So we have four again. So one, one, one. Okay, so another 100. 
So carry 1, carry 0, bring down 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1, and then 1 plus 1 is 10. Carry 1, bring down 0, and then bring down that 1 right here. So that's how we solve, you know, uh, 3 fourths or even 5 3 fourths. Uh, four ones or even five ones okay so if it's five ones then that is one zero one okay if it's six ones then it's one one zero all right if it's seven ones then everything is one okay if it's eight ones then one zero 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 okay so as simple as that and then of course you have to separate uh, those carries Okay, so were you guys able to follow so far on how to do binary addition? Yes, Miss Kyla? Sir, how about the decimal points? Uh, in decimal points, it's the same. So wherever is that, as long as they are aligned with each other, then just put here decimal. So sorry for that. I forgot to put the decimal. Okay. All right. Any other concerns? Okay, so I guess none. All right, so let's now move on to the uh, binary subtraction. So in here, the same concept actually. Okay, so if we have one minus one, okay, so of course this one is zero. So what is the binary combination or binary uh, ops zero? So it's zero, 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 zero. Now, if we have, uh, let's say, 0 minus 1, of course, you cannot deduct this 1. So, same concept. You have to borrow to, let's say, we have 10 minus, uh, let's say, 1. Okay, 10 minus 1. So, 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So, in here, we have to borrow. Of course, that 0 will become 10. Okay, so it's quite the same. However, if you guys are going to take a look at this one, uh, once you borrow, in uh, binary, uh, that zero okay, will become two, okay? Just by looking at this uh, 10 right here, so this one has a value of two, okay? And this one will become zero, okay? So in here, 10 minus one is one. Why? Because of course, this one has a value of two, so two minus one is one, okay? So I hope, You've got, uh, you guys have got the idea. So it's quite the same. However, in here, uh, once you borrowed, it will become 2. And then you have to convert that 2 into binary, which is uh, 10. All right. So enough with the concept. So let's answer this one. You guys to uh, able to appreciate it. All right. So when in here, 1 minus 1 is uh, 0. 0 minus 1 is cannot be, so that is why we have to borrow to this 1. So 1 will become 0, and then 0 will become 10. 10 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 is cannot be, so that is why we have to borrow again. So 1 will become 0, and then 0 will become 10. And then 10 minus 1 is 1. Okay, wait, seems that there is a question. Sir, done? Yes? You have a question? Mr. Joshua? Actually, uh, you know, nothing, you'll not get confused with this one because, it's, you know, when you, you borrowed in a normal, uh, you know, in a conventional uh, way of subtracting it, zero will become 10. Okay, if it's 1, if you're going to borrow, 1 will become 11. So it's quite the same. Okay, however, again, the uh, main concept when it comes to binary, if that 0 borrowed to his neighbor, it will become 2 in decimal. Where in, in decimal, you have to convert this 1 into binary. That is why we have 10. Okay, that's the main reason why we're putting here 10. And then again, 10 minus 1, okay, is 1. That is because this one has a value of 2, okay? And then this one has a value of 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, okay? 
So, yeah, that's how we subtract in binary. Okay. Well, going back to uh, our solution, so 10 minus 1 is again 1. Okay. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay. So let's compare our answer. So there you go. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, which is the same with that one. So is there, uh, is there still uh, anyone who's confused? <laughs> Seems that uh, Mr. Dan is still confused. How about the others? Were you guys able to get it? Okay, Mr. Van Luther, Mr. Salayan, Mayo, Marlene, Patricia, Katrin, Jamsalan, Kailaki. So uh, at least most of you were able to uh, get the idea. Okay, so let's have more example. So again, I will not answer number one anymore since uh, it is quite the same with this one. So the one that we're going to answer is number three. Okay. So how many minutes do we still have? So we still have six minutes. Okay. So in here, zero minus one. Okay, let me just uh, bring this one down a little. And let me just stretch this one. Okay. So in here, zero minus one is cannot be. So that is why we have to borrow to this uh, neighbor of yours. So one will become zero. Okay. And then uh, 0 will become 10. All right. So now we can subtract this one here now since this one now is enough. So 10 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So that is why, again, we need to borrow to your neighbor. But then again, your neighbor doesn't have anything. So your neighbor has to borrow first to his neighbor before he can uh, give you uh, something. Okay. So, this neighbor will become 10, okay? And then this one will become 0, okay? So now, this one now has uh, a money, let's say a money that he can uh, let you borrow. So, you can now borrow to your neighbor. So, again, this 0 will become 10. And then, since you borrowed to this uh, neighbor of yours, he will now only have 1, okay? So from here, 10 minus 1 is 1, minus 1 is 0. Are we still clear? Can you guys still follow on how did we get this 1? Okay, so only 1, there's 2, there's 3, there's 4. Sir, ulit. Ulit, okay. So, good thing nagtanong ako kasi ayokong ulitin kapag nandito na tayo sa, you know, patapos na. Alright, so, uh, let's repeat it again. Oh, nabawasan. Nabawasan pa rin doon. Okay. Oops. Hindi na, mali mo. Alright, so from here again, so 0 minus 1 cannot be. So we have to borrow to this neighbor of yours. So 1 will become 0. Oops. And then 0 now will become 10. Okay? And then 10 minus 1 is 1. And then 0 minus 1 cannot be. So we have to borrow to this neighbor of yours. But then again, your neighbor doesn't have anything, so you have to borrow. I mean, your neighbor have to borrow to his neighbor okay before he can let you borrow uh, a money so from here uh this one will become zero and then this zero will become 10. and then from here you can now borrow to this uh guy since he has now a money so 10 will become one and then zero will become 10. So now you can subtract those 1 and 1 right here since you now have uh, enough. Okay. So 10 minus 1 is 1. Minus 1 is 0. 
So I hope we are clear now. All right. Okay. All right. So it seems that most of you were able to get it already. Okay. So uh, next one is one minus one is zero. So all I need to do is just you know uh, remove those two one to avoid confusion, and then of course this one will become zero. So we need more space. Let me just move it right here. All right. So from here, zero minus one. Let me just scrape that one. So zero minus one is cannot be. So we have to borrow to this guy. Then again, he doesn't have anything. So he has to borrow first to his neighbor. Okay, so one will become zero. Zero, zero will become 10. Okay, so now you can borrow to this guy since he has now a money. So 10 will become one and then zero will become 10. So 10 minus one is one. Okay, and then one minus one is zero. So in here, let me just remove those two one and then replace it by zero. So zero minus one is cannot be. So we have to borrow again to this guy. But then again, this guy doesn't have anything. So he needs to borrow first to his neighbor. So one will become zero and then zero will become 10. So now you can borrow to this guy since he has now a money. So 10 will become one and then zero will become 10. Okay. And then 10 minus one is one. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is still 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, 0. And then 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So we have to borrow to this guy. So 1 will become 0 and then 0 will become 10. 10 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So we have to borrow again. Then again, this one doesn't have anything, so we have to borrow to this guy first. So 1 will become 0, and then 0 will become 10. And then 10 will become 1, and then 0 will become 10. So 10 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 is cannot be, so we have to borrow again. So the same process. This guy will have to borrow to his neighbor first. So 1 will become 0. 10, I mean 0 will become 10. And then uh, now he cannot let you borrow since he has now uh, our money. So 10 will become 1 and then 0 will become 10. So 10 minus 1 is 1. Minus